Hey everyone, welcome to another Plan With Me video. As you can see, I've already got my photos printed for this week. I'm going to be using these stickers by my mind's eye and you get, I think it's six sheets, which is really great value for money. Um, there's another one from my store, from my mind's eye actually, they're all from my mind's eye. The Hello Gorgeous chipboard sheet and the uh, On Trend 2 chipboard sheet and cardstock stickers. Um, this is all from Sassy Scrappers as usual. Um, and then two washi tapes, pink stripes, and yellow. So the first thing I nearly always do when I do a plan with me is I get rid of this ugly green stripe down the bottom. I know that green can be a very nice colour, but it isn't for me. So I nearly always put a sticker or a photo or tape over the top of it. Sorry Heidi, it's the only thing I don't like about the planner. Then what I'm going to do is just kind of use um, this chipboard sticker, which I thought was really cute, the pink glasses, um, and stick that down the bottom as kind of a focal piece for that page. Of course, then I'm just going to um, stick this sticker on that says My Fabulous Life, because obviously life is fabulous. Then cut up my photos. Sorry, this is a little bit boring. Um, apologies to everyone who may have noticed that every single week um, I'm using photos of my dog. She is my pride and joy, old pop. She just turned seven months. She's an old lady now. And I don't know if you can see on that top photo, it's her next to a cavoodle. Look how big she is now. It's so sad. And I'm grabbing this um, stack of book stickers. Oh no, I'm going to wash your tape first. So this is just a paper tape and this sticker from again my mind's eye which is a stack of books I think it says write your own story on it and then I'm just laying down that yellow tape um, just along the band of every single day and then I'm just going to glue down my photos using my dot liner um, these are from office works um, they're not the cheapest ones but I just have a bunch of refills that I bought in Japan and that photo of Pop there is her helping me carry the mail which she does every single day so any of you pen pals watching this when you send me a letter it's always Pop who carries it from the letterbox to the door. Once I've got my photos arranged I'm just going to add in a few extra stickers and embellishments starting with some more washi tape just along the top and on each side. Um, these washi tapes I have no idea where they're from. I think I might have got them in a kit at some point or possibly in Japan. So sorry for anyone who wanted to buy them. Um, and then I'm just going to grab some more of the chipboard stickers. I really love, this is this is probably my favourite thing about the Heidi Spot Planner. I love how wide it is. So if I was to use chipboard stickers in a Kiki K planner, for example, I would not be able to fit it in. Um, the pages would just be too thick for the size of the planner. Given the extra width of the Heidi Swap planner and just its format, you can actually really chunk up your planner and it doesn't matter, it will all fit. And that's really great because I have so many chipboard stickers. So someone said in my last video that they thought I used too many stickers per page. Now, that's fair enough. I see your point. Like, it can be quite expensive. However, I have so many stickers. Stickers are like my favourite stationary item and if I don't make a conscious effort I will not use them. They will just sit in my drawer so that is why I use so many stickers in each of my Plan With Me videos. Now by all means you can decorate a Plan With Me video and not use a single, you can decorate your diary and not use a single sticker, doesn't matter, each to their own. But I have stickers and I want to use them rather than holding them. So that's why I use so many per page and I'm sorry if that upsets anyone. These are just clear date stickers. These are actually by Heidi Swap as well. And they're so handy because the circles actually fit perfectly into the actual design of the page. Um, and it makes it so that you can have a dated diary essentially. And this week I've kind of used it more as an appointment keeper, which I know many of you have noticed I don't necessarily do with this diary. So um, this, I guess this planner for me is less of a planner and more of a memory keeping journal. So 
this week I thought I'd show you how you can use it um, to record your appointments as well if that's what you need to do. Um, I work backwards from the week. I know that's a little bit strange, but you know, each of us does their own thing, whatever. Um, so I have been this week, oh, you'll be so proud of me. I joined a gym. Um, it's not easy. For anyone who's done a body attack class before, you will know exactly what I mean. I have never sweated so much in my life. So bad. But anyway, I'm kind of thinking now that I want to use next week, I might do, I guess, like a fitness journal. I'll try this diary as a fitness journal because um, it is kind of what I'm focused at the moment. It's my health and getting my fitness back because I really have slacked off over the last few years. Um, so I'm just going to speed this up a bit because you know what my writing looks like. Does anyone else watch videos of you writing when it's been sped up and think, I really wish I could write that fast, honestly? Being a pen pal and being able to write this fast would make life a lot easier, plus I would be a lot faster with my replies. Sorry to the pen pals of mine who are still waiting. I mean, a bit of a funk at the moment. So this is me trying to get out of it by just sitting down and doing what I like to do, which is just be creative and not think about it too much. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this week. I added in a few more stickers, but apart from that, was done. Let me know what you think of this video. If you have any comments or want to tell me about your body attack experiences, please feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, have a great week. Bye.